Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this episode of Makerbox Mondays, I'm going to have a look at a PLA from AIO Robotics. So let's have a look after the intro. So this filament is a PLA uh, from AIO Robotics. Um, it says here it provides inexpensive PLA on 500 gram spools. And with this sample, uh, it was a 25% extra filament, so it's uh, more filament than normal. And I already own uh, all, all the colors from the 12 pack from this manufacturer and have used this filament quite a lot, and I'm just quite happy with it. But let's have a look at the prints I did. So one of the first prints is a stringing test, and here with retractions on, I got some stringing. But uh, like in the review of the filament I did, I turned off C-Hop and got a better result in regard to stringing. And this was working quite nice, but only a small amount of stringing. I then pr printed this bridging test and that came out pretty good. There was one strange strand here in the bottom part. I don't know what was happening here, but the longer spans were coming out excellent. And no issues, so to speak. Uh, this is a, like a one-off. I haven't uh, had uh, this issue here in the shorter spans as a problem before, so I'm not sure why, why this happened. But other than that, the bridging was looking really good. Um, then I print this test, and um, here's the, the bridge looking very good, and no issues. And the overhangs here looking also very good. And the dome is a very smooth surface, and the underneath part of the dome is really smooth. So no issues with this test also. Um, here with the uh, overhang tests, uh, I printed in opposite directions from the nozzle fan. Um, in both cases it came out excellent. And absolutely no issues here, even at 70 degrees overhangs. So this was working really good for me. Uh, then I have the brake tests, uh, this print on the bed like this one, and um, this is printed on the bed like this, so this tells me a little bit about layer strength when I break it, and I would say it's quite difficult to break compared to PLA filaments, so it was a strong layer bonding, and um, here on the test that goes down on the bed like this, and I'll try to break that one. Um, that came apart and was also quite difficult and this is printed out without any infill so in that regard this test was pretty strong and I then printed out my maker coin and it came out excellent there was a small blob here I don't know what happened but other than that the maker coin came out excellent and, and no issues except this small blob uh, maybe some dirt on the nozzle was getting loose. Uh, I think it's not a fault of the filament. It was like a small black blob. That might be a residue of some other filament uh, cleaning out from the nozzle. And when I was finishing up the filament, I printed this head. This is my son, Siki. Um, uh, the samples I got was uh, done uh, approximately at this part. So I changed filament and continued with the filament I already had bought. So this head is fully printed <laughs> and I just printed it for fun to give him the head of him. I, he already has a bigger one in his room, but I want to try this out with this filament. But this came out excellent and, and no issues, so to speak. Uh, here's a overhang that should have needed supports. And it's not a fault of the filament. Uh, should have had a small support here. So other than that, the uh, print came out pretty good. So this was a quick look at the AO Robotics PLA. Um, I have already tested this filament and done a full review, and you can find that on my channel. The review video I did I had very good result with this filament. It was very easy to print. I was printing out at 205 degrees, like a normal PLA settings from the slicer. Um, had no special issues. And, and no need to change the temperature. I got really good layer addition and, and no very good surface finish in this filament. 
So it's a quite quite good filament, and they have a, like a 12 pack with 12 different colors. That's giving you half a kilo spools from each color, and you can get that on Amazon. But for this video, this will be it. And I hope you like this video and give it a thumbs up or, or a comment. So for now, thank you for watching, and see you in the next one.